hello guys welcome back to my channel last time i made video in which i showed you how you can uh, get the local time date and everything uh, into the array using of 2d array and a udt in which i made two tasks one was a main program another was fault log with udt in which i used a pointer to give the my fault log position where the data is supposed to store next time so they ask me what exactly pointer is doing here so pointer is doing here uh, let's go to the tags let's go to the uh, fault log that we are getting uh, let's go to the udt site so it will be easy to explain here so i created uh, the fault log array of 10 which has a 10 elements 0 till 9 which gonna make it 10 so when i want to store my data in fault log 0 the data will go here and next time when i need to store my data to fault log 1 i need to make sure i'm storing the data exactly at fault log 1 so in program if you will see here i am moving the seven elements of calendar.year which was my calendar tag first element so seven gonna be from here till here so it's gonna be one two three four five six and seven so i'm moving seven elements to my fault log but fault log which position you want to move to so right now let's say instead of pointer if i put here just zero let's say and seven now it will just every single time i will execute this rung it will just go to fault log zero it will just go only zero every single time when i'm gonna execute this line let's just download this so who is active you will understand better when i'm gonna show you guys live here so <clears throat> you do here that's mine download Ready. I'm gonna go run mode. Yes. I'm gonna make sure my pointer value is zero. And there are some data already here. Let's just zero that out and make sure it's zero. Yep. So right now, let's say I put only zero here instead of pointer, and I'm gonna toggle this bit. You will get the value here in zero which is like year month date hour minute second like that go back and if i'm going to toggle this bit one more time you will see it just overwrite this again and i'm going to toggle one more time and you will see it overwrite that again now it's like 44 58 so if i'm going to toggle one more time but over right here so it's just hopping those seven elements from here and keep pasting on zero over and over and over again because we are just that's what we are telling here fault log zero go to fault log zero dot e start from here every single time it will not go here because the over here the fault log one is the element the first element so for that we are using here pointer you can use anything you don't need to just exactly pointer and so i'm just going to pointer here because i used my pointer here as my dent so if you look here my pointer i'm just using a dent to just show the value so now if you look here pointer value is four 
and over here i'm using pointer instead of zero so what it makes assume that this is not a pointer assume it's four now here because the pointer value is four so it's going to be fault log four dot year so if i'm going to execute this run now it will not go here it will not go here it will go directly to four so number four it will not go to number three it will skip because pointer value is four now so let's execute this run and look in the program you see it did not copy paste in number three it did not copy paste in number two because pointer value was number four so we straight went to fault log four here and copy paste here and now i'm adding every single time i'm executing this run i'm adding one to the pointer so the value will increase by one so now pointer value is five that means i'm saying here fault log five dot year so i'm moving now next time i'm going to execute this it's gonna go to number five here so that's why i'm using pointer here it's called the indirect addressing i am giving the addressing of this indirectly not directly directly will be like i'm just gonna say fault log zero dot year so i'm giving the direct address i'm telling the program directly go to here zero but if i'm changing this with some other uh, routine or some other <clears throat> way i'm changing the values it's called the indirect addressing because i'm giving the address indirectly not directly here so now pointer value is five so it means it's five here fault log five dot here so that's why i'm using pointer you can use anything you can use uh, status you can use let's say uh, position instead of pointer what's the position gonna be of my fault log i can say that so that's why i'm using pointer here because i just made my uh, tag tag name pointer instead of position or something else but you can use anything if you want thank you very much for watching this video guys